Welcome back to our SEMA project. If you saw the, the video where I put the gauges in and did the uh, seat, you saw where I put mounted this up here on the very end of that uh, video. Now I went ahead and took this back off because I know I'm fixing to do some modifying on my firewall. So I want to get all my pedals and every bit of that steering completely finished up, completely welded and locked down. So I got all that, all that finished up and done and then I put this back on and I started fitting it a little bit. Now I've lowered this in the front about an inch, inch and a quarter to uh, take some of that, that uh, height out of that nose. If you look at these 53 to 55 forwards, the hood just is straight out and everything looks kind of funny up in the air. So uh, I've dropped that down and then doing, and I've actually shortened this hood about, a, it used to come to about right here, which was about an inch and a half. So I've cut an inch and a half all the way off of the, the mouth of this hood uh, as well. Now, uh, in lowering the front of that, this uh, cow area used to go straight out with the hood. So I went in there and sliced all the way across that and I'm lowering this cowl down to match it so that when it comes off of this plane, it goes right into that plane and then straight on out. So on the inside here, this is where I've sliced it. I've sliced it all the way across through there and then I've lowered that about a half an inch or so. Well, I went down to Rawls and Son Auto Salvage in Springfield, Tennessee, and I went through the salvage yard, and I was just looking for a, a, a somewhat lightweight strike, and I found these on the front of a little Chevrolet four-door car, a VO or something like that, and it had these uh, strikes and these latches, and it uh, took me a while to find two of them, and every one of them I found was hitting the front end, so these were kind of damaged, and I've straightened them out a little bit, but they're kind of small, and I'm going to go in here and... Uh, cut this uh, safety latch off of it and, and then I've already cut the safety latch off that side and this is what I'm going to use to uh, latch my hood and I'm going to install them right inside there. Now uh, while I was on those cars I went ahead and grabbed the cables so these cables will release it. So I'll run these cables to each one of my latches and then run them into one uh, latch, one uh, handle release and then from inside the truck you better pull the handle release it'll release both of these latches and the hood will pop up and with the little spring that's in there that's going to uh, let it pop up and uh, hood pop forward uh, but let me show you what this looks like inside now up here on my hood I've well, made me a little piece of angle plate and I've made me a piece of 16 gauge that I've uh, formed to the fiberglass hood and then my pin will go in there to have the spring on it like your regular hood latch and then down here on the firewall I took the strike off the uh, Chevrolet car and I mounted it up in here and I've got it where it'll move around and be adjustable and then my pin will come right down and strike right into it like that and uh, then I'll button all that up but first I'm going to go on over here the other side and fabricate what I've got up there on the top and get it to this point so let's take a look at the other side now on this side, uh, I used the template that I used to make my sheet metal over, from over there and I just brought it over here and did a little bit of doctoring on it. It's a little bit different. The fiberglass varies a little bit from side to side. And uh, that's what I want right there for my 16 gauge. And I just laid that on a piece of flat metal, trimmed it out, and then hammer formed it to make it match this. And then once I got that made, I made my little piece of angle to hold it. And then that'll go just like that. And now I've got my strike on here. And I'll actually put my rivets in there that'll be countersunk into the fiberglass. And I'll put fiberglass mat and uh, material over the, I'll countersink them, woven mat over top of that so you don't see them. And then I'll actually bond adhesive to, to this uh, panel. The bonding adhesive alone would probably be enough to support it, but I, I don't want to take no chances. So uh, I'll rivet it and, and bond it as well. So now I'm going to make my bottom part just like I did on that other side. And then we'll start making this thing strike. And then I've got my cables that I'll run into these two and have one pull inside. And uh, this will be a really nice release for this uh, tilt front end. Well, it's time to test our, test our hood latch system. Now, I went to the F100 Nationals the other day and looked at a lot of these tilt front ends to see how they released them and how they latched them, and uh, it was horrible. I didn't see anything with the inside latch release. Everything was like a toolbox latch or a big rubber latch, but uh, I decided to just go on all out with it. So uh, let's test out this system, see how it works. Now, underneath the dash here, you can see all this is handmade. This is actually a, a converter installing tool, and the springs and the cables come off the... Uh, uh, Rawls and Sun salvage yard parts that I got and then uh, you just grab a hold of this boy now, inside here 
you can see how we finished this up. I got rid of where the old uh, hinge plates used to be and I formed this, hammer formed this around and added a little bit here, cleaned this up a little bit and uh, made these fit nice and tight and got our springs and latches all in place. And the, with the front end now, see how nice that shuts and closes. With my rake in there, that looks a lot better. I split that cowl, lowered that front, glassed that back in, and uh, this part's about done. This has been a pretty big job right here, but I'm glad it's done. So now I get a look at the whole truck. I've got the whole truck together more than it's been at any time. I'm still waiting on my wheels from Chris Coddington, and uh, he's really, really close on them. Got my big fat tires under here. I got my fenders from Bebop, which look really, really nice on there. I was tickled to death, and thank you, Teresa, for getting me those big, nice fenders. And uh, we're on the road to SEMA.